Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5062553 because of this error code that is 0x800F0831. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update. Now for this, you can go to Windows Update and then click on Pause. This process may take some time. And once the update is paused, now you can click on resume updates. So pause and resume the updates and then you can check still not working. The next step is to start app readiness service. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now over here find app readiness service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now check, still not working. The next step is to run update troubleshooter. Now for this open windows settings and then go to system, scroll down, click on troubleshoot, click on other troubleshooters. Now here you can see windows update. Now click on run. Now over here you can see run the windows update troubleshooter scroll down here you can see the option which says i can't download install or uninstall an update so we are unable to install so we will click on this permission to run windows update automatic diagnostic can we run the windows update automatic diagnostic click on yes just follow the on-screen instruction and run this troubleshooter now still not working the next step is to restart windows update and background intelligent transfer service now for this type in services in windows search box and then click on services once again and then find windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok with this selected make a right click and then click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on OK with this selected again make a right click click on restart and then you can try to update and then check still not working the next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website and here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now over here if there is any update you will see update now option in my case it's already up to date so if you see update now option just update it and then you can check still not working the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to again microsoft website over here write down the name of the update that is KB5062553 paste the update over here write down the name of the update and then click on search and then over here you will see the update now you have to check here you can see Windows 11 version 24H2 for x64 based system you can check what kind of system you have you can go to settings and then you can go to system and then you can go to about option over here you can see 64 bit operating system x64 based processor so here you can see x64 based system this is windows 11 version 2 for h2 this is the right one for me and this is for arm and this is for microsoft server so this is the right one for me so click on download over here you can see this kb5062553 click on it and then once the download is complete you can click on this file just click on it and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer you can even install this update and then restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to reset windows update components now for this copy all these commands these commands are provided in the video description so copy till here copy it now open notepad on your computer and then paste all the command over here now go to file and then click on save as you can set the location as desktop and name this file as wufix.bat 
and for save as type select all files click on save now go to desktop make a right click on this bat file here you can see w you fix make a right click and then click on run as administrator make sure that you run this as an administrator click on yes to allow first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans so do you want to continue this operations type in y hit the enter key now this process will take some time so first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now the scan process will take time and once the scan is complete it will reinstall all the windows it will actually restart all the windows update services and then it will close and then you can restart your computer and then check so this process will take some time now still not working the next step is to use option which says fix problem using windows update so you can use this option now for this you can open windows settings and then go to windows update go to advanced option over here scroll down here you can see recovery option click on recovery and over here you can see the option which says fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved click on reinstall now this process will again take some time and once this is done you can restart your computer and then check still not working the last step is to use media creation tool go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel